Heyo YouTube, it's Red Alchemy here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. That is not the easiest thing to say. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anyways, last time we started the game, basically, uh, took uh, Professor Oak his parcel, and now we're pretty much open to do whatever we want in the game. Uh, we healed our Pokemon here at the Poke Center. Let's go ahead and see if we can make it to Pewter City, maybe fight Brock. Um, we should probably level up some of our other Pokemon along the way, so we will definitely focus on that here in just a little bit. Um, let's talk to a couple of people though, because usually you can get stuff from getting or from talking to people in Pokemon games, and I don't know if they've like added uh, extra people. I don't know. Let's just talk to people. All right, those Pokeballs you've got—you have Pokemon, don't you? It's great that you can carry and use your Pokemon anytime, anywhere. See, that's useless. He told me nothing. <laughs> Uh, oh, look, over on the left side of the screen, you can actually see a cut branch. Uh, it looks way more realistic than it did in Generation 1, I might say. Uh, oh, ho, so you're working on a Pokedex. Then I'll give you a piece of advice. Uh, you'd do well to stock up on Pokeballs at a Pokemart before you, Pokemart before you continue your adventure. Yeah, uh, I think that's probably a good idea. Okay, so if anything, he helped me remember that. But surely someone will give me something at some point. Like, that's the whole point of... No, this is a trainer school. I have no desire to talk to anyone here. I, I know how to, well, I mean, I don't technically know how to play this game, but I think I can figure it out. It doesn't seem like brain surgery. Uh, yo there, kid from Pallet Town. That, that's all? It, okay, whatever. Let's go in the Pokemart and buy some Pokeballs, as the gentleman told us to do. Let's talk to this kid. I've got to buy some potions. You never know when your Pokemon will need quick healing. That's very true. Uh, this shop does good business on Paralyzed Hills, I've heard. Alright. Welcome, may I help you? I'm here to buy. Uh, so we have $3,000. Pokeball is only 100 Yes, sir. We are going to buy quite a few of those. Um, let's go ahead and buy 20 of them. Because we're going to need them. Uh, if it's anything like Pokemon Go, <clears throat> you're going to have to throw several Pokeballs at things to catch it. But we'll get Ultra Balls and everything eventually. Uh, oh, I was getting ready to say, I see down at the bottom left a Premier Ball. So we got some Premier Balls. For every 10 Pokeballs you buy, usually, you get a Premier Ball. It's, I think it's literally like the exact same thing as a Pokeball, uh, as far as like the rates go, maybe. But, uh, I'm, I mean, it's probably a little different, but it's basically just uh, for looks. Alright, you put the Premier Ball in your catching pocket. So, like, I can catch a, a Pokemon that I really like in the pre Premier Ball, and it'll be in a special little Pokeball. Okay, so, um, I think we should probably buy some other stuff, too. I think we have a potion. The most useful thing I see here would probably be the antidote, because being poisoned will actually cause you damage as you walk. So we're going to buy a couple of those. Um, and as for the rest, I mean, we probably should just buy potions for now. I don't see us being burnt or any of the other ones anytime soon. I mean, maybe put to sleep. We'll buy a couple of those, possibly. Uh, yeah, let's do three potions. And I will eventually buy, like, a burn heal and ice heal and all that stuff for later, but I just don't see myself needing it right now. I mean, I could be wrong. I'll probably eat my own words here in just a moment. But, I don't know. Let's go ahead and just buy some potions for now and get out of here. Because I think that we're pretty much set. I am really struggling to get used to this whole just um, using one hand to play this game. Like, the joystick, usually you, you know, you do the joystick with your left hand, so it's just very, I don't know, awkward, I feel like. Alright, what do you have to say? Wow, your Pokemon is riding on you? That's super cute! But I think my Pokemon would be a bit too heavy for me. That's why I have it walk with me instead. An Oddish is too heavy? What? How much does an Oddish weigh? It seems like it would just be a little, like, thin leaf type thing. Oddly. Uh, check your party in the main menu and choose a Pokemon to take out of its Pokeball, and it will walk around with you. Oh! It's just adorable to see them. Here, let me do it for you. Oh, so there's a Pidgey. Um, uh, oh, so aside from Pikachu, you can choose another one. Um, then yes, please. We are going to choose Oddish, because Oddish is dope. Oh, the star, I guess, is what it signifies. Alright, um... Take out a Pokeball. All right, nice. Uh, yeah, cool. So, let's talk to this old man. This looks like a gym. The Pokemon gym is closed. 
I wonder who's the... Oh, that's Giovanni, probably. That's the way it was in the first game. You would come across, like, a gym early on in the game, and it was a, just a closed gym because it's the the eighth gym, Giovanni, who is also the leader of Team Rocket, I believe? If I know my Pokemon lore, <laughs> which maybe I don't, I don't know. Alright, so, let's get ready. I gotta do this carefully. Nice! That's actually... I mean, I'm not I'm not sure if it's just been luck every time, but it seems very intuitive. Like, you do have to do it at a certain, like, uh, hardness. You have to kind of... You can't just gently move the remote that it is. Uh, but you also have to kind of wait on the timing of the ball. And you have to do it directly at the, the Nintendo Switch system, as far as I can tell. Um, I don't know how else it would tell where you're doing it. But, I don't know. It's been really fun to play around with so far. And I'm not getting overly excited just because it's a new game. Uh, I do kind of hate the fact that it's so much like Pokemon Go, to be totally honest. But, I, I mean, I'm just trying to enjoy the game because it's not a bad game at all. Okay. Weedle has been added to my party. Maybe we'll get a Beedrill eventually. What else is there? Another Weedle. Um, can't use Cut right now, so we can't do anything there. Is there not any other Pokemon? I swear, like... There's Rattata... No, okay, whatever, I'm done. I'm gonna go on because I'd, I don't want to just catch the same Pokemon over and over. Let's talk to some of these people. Usually this is like an area where you'll get items from people or trade Pokemon or something like that. Are you going to the Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. Okay, so nothing from her. If your Pokemon uses a move that's the same type as itself, the power uh, the move's power will get a boost. Useless, I swear. So eventually, someone will give me something, guys. I promise. I'm not just making it up. I don't know. Maybe I am. Uh, let's battle this guy, maybe. <clears throat> I came here with some friends to catch us some bug-type Pokemon. My pals are all itching to get into some Pokemon battles. Oh, so it's your pals that I'm going to be fighting, I guess. Look at that Kakuna. Like, why would I want to catch a Kakuna? I would rather catch a Caterpie. Um... But, I mean, it would be nice to have more Pokemon for battles. I don't know. I don't know what else to do, really. I guess I'll just go ahead and fight. Ooh! Metapod. Oh, I'm... <laughs> I keep getting Metapod and Kakuna mixed up. I'm sorry. I was talking about Metapod. I think I said Kakuna, though. Okay, so, uh... Or I think I mixed that up. I don't know, guys. Whatever. Choose a berry from your bag to use it. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh man, what? It seemed like that would have got it. It was just barely off, it looked like. What? Ah oh, man, yeah, that was actually kind of off, if I was totally honest. There we go, got a, got a great throw. There we go, nice. I mean, I would have liked to have caught a Caterpie, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. At least maybe I can get a Butterfree this way. I'm sure I'll run into Caterpie later and regret it, because usually catching a Metapod sucks, because it only knows, like, uh, something to raise its defense. Harden. Uh, it raises its defense, and it's like the most useless Pokemon ever. But once you level it up, it becomes Butterfree, and with the experience share in this game, it should be, um, it should work out pretty good. Alright. We got Metapod. Sweet, sweet. Okay. Let's see... I guess I'll fight her now. Uh, hey, do you have a big Pikachu? What are you asking me? What? Oh, yeah, no, I guess I got a big Pikachu. Sorry. I forgot he was there. You are challenged by last jo jo Joanna? Jonah? I don't know. It's probably Joanna. Okay, Rattata. Uh, I should... Uh, okay, I'm gonna try and switch it up this time. If she has more than one Pokemon, uh, I'm gonna try and switch it up. I can't see the very edge of my screen because of my monitor, so like I can't actually see anything that's on the edge, so I can't see if she has a couple of Pokemon or not right now. Uh, I know, I'm sorry, I, I need a new monitor. Or I need to adjust the setting on this one, I'm not really sure. So anything on the very edge of the screen, I'm not going to be able to see. <laughs> but it gets recorded, so you all can see it at least. 
Oh, uh, yeah, see? That was a useless move. That's what I'm saying. And I know that you you can play, like, two players somehow in this game, but I don't see any advantage to doing that, so I'm probably not going to. <laughs> I know some people probably play with, like, two controllers in their hand and do it like that, but I don't really know what the advantage is. Do you, like... Do you, does it make it easier to catch the Pokemon, maybe? Because if so, then I could see the advantage of doing that. Like, you both throw a Pokeball or something, because I saw that in a commercial. You got 80 bucks for winning, you got three Pokeballs. I love that it gives you Pokeballs whenever you win a battle, because that is, like, currency in this game, almost. Okay, let's, uh, what's this? Oh, five Pokeballs, nice! I love that you can walk through the grass without, like, being scared, too. Oh, there's a female Pikachu. I'm gonna catch it. See, this is what I was talking about, guys. So, uh, this is what I originally got as my Pikachu whenever I played the game, uh, like, testing it out. And, uh, I don't really like the heart tail thing, but, I mean, I don't have a female Pikachu in my party. Oh, sorry about that. We cut out for a second there. Uh, but I don't really have a, uh, female Pikachu in my party. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should catch it? I mean, I should obviously catch it, right? Like, that would be silly not to. Okay, so let's do it. Oh, man. She she dodged it. There we go. Got a great throw that time. I mean, it'll be weird having two Pikachus in my party, but, uh, I mean, you can't evolve your starter Pokemon, so we might as well just go ahead and uh, catch another one. That way we can get a Raichu eventually. Ooh, it's gonna be transferred to the box. Because I, I don't even have a spot in my... Man, that sucks. I probably would have gotten rid of, like, Weedle or something. Okay. You tucked Pikachu away in your Pokemon box. In, oh, in the Pokemon box in your bag. Okay. Alright, so we're done here. Should I catch a Kakuna, actually? I know I was just talking about that, but... Uh... No, nah, because my, my Weedle will evolve eventually, so... No real reason to. Oh, you have a partner Pokemon. Let me get a better look. Yeah, it would just be a waste of Pokeballs. Alright, bug catcher Brian. So, should I switch? I think I'm going to switch it up, actually. Let's try and battle with... I don't know. None of these are really going to be strong. We can try Pidgey. I mean, just for the sake of trying something new. Pikachu, switch out. Go, Pidgey. Poison Sting. See? So that could that could poison me, and then I'll have an antidote. I'm prepared. Didn't Never say I'm not prepared. Alright. Got a Gust going. Nice! Super effective critical hit. Weedle is dead. Alright, so, uh, I wish it, I really wish I could see the, exactly how much, uh, experience everyone else gets, but if, if you know the exact amount, like if it's half or whatever, a quarter, comment below and let me know, because I'm really curious and I'm kind of too lazy to look it up. Alright, got three Pokeballs out of that, hell yeah. Let's keep going, I want to see what else we can catch here. There's another female Pikachu, ain't got time for that. There's another Metapod. Let's see if I can <laughs> name them properly this whole game. I heard something. Here's some more trainers. At least we can uh, we can battle some people. So this is the Viridian Forest, right? Am I remembering that right? Or is that the Vermilion Forest? I don't know. I, I am completely confused with my different forests and town names for this game. Oh, there's a Caterpie. So I need to catch a Caterpie, because now I've got a Metapod, I'm not going to have Caterpie in the Pokedex unless I catch it. I wish I had a Fire-type. I wonder, wonder whenever I'll get my first Fire-type. I know you're supposed to be able to catch all the starters early in the game, so that'll be fun. I'm definitely going to capture... Uh, I want to get all the Evolutions at some point. I mean, obviously it would be nice to fill out the entire Pokedex, but... Uh, I don't know, I, just getting the evolutions would be really cool. It's like a mini goal for myself. There's a, okay, there we go, there's a Caterpie. Gotta capture this little stupid bug. 
<clears throat> and see, now I'm going to have wasted more Pokeballs than I should have had to. Just because I ran into the Metapod first. And I don't have the option of keeping this Caterpie instead of the Metapod. So now my Butterfree is probably going to be missing out on a couple of moves that Caterpie would have had. But that's okay. Not a big deal. Life goes on, so to speak. Whenever we get out of this forest, I'll go in and actually pamper my Pokemon or whatever. The uh, like thing you can do where you can pet them. I'm not sure what it's called in this game. What is it called in this game? I don't know. There's not an option for it there. I was throwing, po throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon, and I ran out of them. That's why you can never have too many Pokeballs. Alright. That's nice. I have no fear of running through the grass now. It's nice. That's the one thing about Pokemon that's kind of frustrating, is that... I'm, although, I will take uh, patches of grass over just random encounters across an entire field or something, like most JRPGs do. So, uh, I, will, I will admit that that's better. Uh, hey, do you know if Bulbasaur appear in this forest? I don't know. Probably not. If so, it's probably like a 1% chance. Alright, last Brittany. Send out Nidoran. I guess I am going to leave Pikachu as the number one Pokemon in my slot, or in my, uh, my party though, because I do want to have him go out every time, for the first turn at least, and I can switch him up later if I need to. I mean, your starter Pokemon is always the like the best Pokemon that you usually have for the first little bit of the game, at least. And you usually want to keep your party Pokemon in your party for the entire game, too. Although, I've got to admit, having a Raichu sounds pretty nice. So maybe it would have been better to start out with a female Pikachu and then capture a male Pikachu to, to evolve into Raichu. Like, does that make sense? Because now I'm not going to be able to evolve this Pikachu into a Raichu. Whatever, it's all good. So we got 80 bucks and 3 Pokeballs. There can't be that many more trainers like left here in the forest. There's one. Alright, what else? This is a lot bigger than I remember it being. I got this little Pokeball hidden right here. How do I get it? A potion, okay. Okay... Is the layout exactly the same? Yeah, I kind of remember this area in the original game. Yo, you can't punk out on battle if you're a real Pokemon trainer. Word, dog. <laughs> He's so hip. All right, we're count. And his name is Doug. How appropriate. Okay. Bug catcher Doug. Oh, he sent out a Kakuna. Okay. Let's, um, we don't have, still don't have a fire attack, so we'll just Thundershock it, I guess. That Thundershock's gonna be completely out of PP by the time this is done, though. And in case you don't know, PP stands for, like, Poke Power or something like that. It's the number of times you can use a move before having to go back to, uh, heal. Like, you see on the right side of Thundershock, it says 24 out of 30. It means I've used, uh, Thundershock six times, so I have 24 available... Uh, shots left, basically. Alright. Kakuna fainted. Um, did I level up? No, I didn't. I was, I think I was really close to leveling up, but I didn't. Man, we're gonna be swimming in Pokeballs after this. Alright, we gotta dodge all these Pokemon over here, because I don't want to recapture anything that I've already captured. Yep, this is the last little uh, area, if I remember correctly, before you go out of the forest. Oh, she said, do you know the trick for throwing a Pokeball well? I wonder if there's a trick that I'm not doing. Let's see. She'll probably tell me after I defeat her. That's the, the agreement. Alright, Pidgey, you're about to die so I can know this trick. And I don't mean last. Last isn't the trick. Sorry. Oh, I'm hilarious. Okay, quick attack. I'm trying to save my uh, Thundershock, just in case. Quick attack again. 
Although I don't think we're going to use all, like, 24 of them that's left. Or 23, whatever. Before we get out of the forest, that is. Alright, Pikachu. You're level 9 now. Anything new? Yeah, double kick. That's what I want to hear. Okay. Let's forget an old move. So, no offense, but I'm probably going to get rid of Growl or Tail Whip. Um, I don't remember which one. One does defense... Uh, lowers their attack and lowers their defense so I'm going to do the defense one simply because if I'm going to lower something I'd rather lower attack because I don't know because if I lower the defense maybe it would be better because then I can do more damage I was gonna say they'd be doing less damage to me but maybe it would be better to get rid of the one that lowers the attack because if I can lower their defense then I can do more damage that makes sense okay one two and ta-da Pikachu forgot Growl, and Pikachu learned Double Kick. I always struggle with that, I never know. Even though ultimately I'll probably get rid of both of the moves, but <laughs> in the meantime at least. She said, "Your our battle was right on target. What? So she's really not going to tell me? Oh, no, no, no. You're going to tell me the secret. Okay, throw a Pokeball to hit the center, you know? The center of those two rings, right? Oh. <laughs> I'm already doing that. I thought that you were trying to like... Give me some new secret that I hadn't heard. That was dumb. Alright, we should be right near the end. What are these big... Like, okay, I gotta know. I've gotta know what this is. Maybe it's, like, stronger? It's huge. Okay, it's, like, it's larger. Okay, I'll catch it. Why not? Oh, man, that was horrible. Okay, let me try a little harder this time. There we go. Excellent. Excellent! Ah oh, man. Because it would be cool to have a large bee drill. We have 80 Pokeballs left. That's really cool. Great! Nice! Very nice. Oh man, it's still. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, let's try again. Excellent! Nice! I've gotten excellent like three times though, and that hasn't been enough. So, oh, what in the world? Maybe we should try a berry. I've li literally wasted so many Pokeballs. All right, let's try a Nana berry. All right, so now maybe it'll be easier. Nice. I, I mean, it would have been nice to have an excellent that time. It seems like it slows the ring down though. Okay, cool. I mean, it made it. It made it catch, I guess, so that's pretty good. I think I will go switch the Kakuna I have out for another Kakuna, though. Because uh, it, that Kakuna is bigger, so my Beedrill would be bigger. Although, I think it doesn't even actually make a difference for, like, what's going on in-game or what you see in-game. So, I don't even know. I don't know. Oh, wait, I've got a... Oh, I've got a... I don't have a Kakuna. Okay. <laughs> that's actually new. But that's okay. Whatever. I'm probably going to go take that one out and trade it out. If it doesn't have better moves, it's okay. It'll learn better moves when it becomes a Beedrill. Okay, I need to go this way, I think. Is this it? This is the end? Oh man, what did I run into? A Caterpie? I'm just gonna run away. Yes. Run away, please. I gotta watch out for that. Oh man, I almost did it again. Literally seconds later. Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? What's the rush? Okay. Sammy. We'll we'll see what you're what you got. <laughs> they all just have bug types. They're not gonna be it's not gonna be even like a challenge because they're all bug types. At least we didn't start with uh, Charmander, because if you start with Charmander this would be like cake. Let's try double kick, see what happens. Yeah, I mean, it did a little bit, but not, like, nearly as much as I was hoping it would do. Let's see if it can hit more than two times, though. Because I think that's the thing, is that it can hit multiple times. Now, I think it's maybe just two times, since it's a double kick. Whatever, it's a new move to use, at least, and it's fighting, so it'll be strong against some types. I don't really know which types, to be honest. Okay. Is that the only Pokemon you had? Is that it? 
Yay! It's, that's it, okay. $36. I love it. It's always three Pokeballs. You always get three Pokeballs. That's really nice. Alright, let's watch out for Caterpies here. They just appear out of nowhere, too. I would love to run into a shiny Pokemon, although I'll be disappointed if this is... Because I've never run into a natural shiny Pokemon ever. So it would be really sad if this was the first game that I did run into one in. I'm sure it will, though. The higher a Pokemon's CP is, the higher its combat power is. I hear CP is a value made up of various stats and things combined. Alright, have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be chopped down with a secret technique called chop down, I hear. Not cut? It's called chop down? That's weird. Okay, whatever. Alright, so... I remember this little patch of grass. I had a friend one time... Uh, I left the room for a minute and I came back and he was like, Dude, I ran into a, a wild Charizard in this patch of grass. And I was like, there is literally no way you could have run into a Charizard. And I didn't believe him at all. But uh, years later, whenever I like looked up stats for this game, I found out that there is literally 0% chance you could have run into a Charizard there. So I like confirmed it, even though I knew it in my heart as a kid. Uh, but yeah, so that's a little fun story. <laughs> okay, hey, nice. I was hoping we'd run into each other. You know there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, Red Chan? You can battle against the gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. If you want to get stronger, you've definitely got to try to take him on. Uh, ha, jeez, Pikachu, you're ready for a good battle too, huh? Who wouldn't be? Alright then, you're making me want to cheer on you guys on ch cheer you guys on too, so take these. I don't like this, the rival is way too nice to me. He's giving me potions. <laughs> you got <laughs> You got five potions from YouTube, I like it. You put the potions in your medicine pocket. I bought some for you with my prize money that uh, I've been earning in all my battles. Beat that gym leader, Red Chan, and you can really call yourself a true trainer. Give it your best. Alright, cool. I mean, I guess they don't want people to, like, bully other people. So, <laughs> they're trying to make everyone seem friendly and nice in all the new Pokemon games. Alright. Oh, look, there are people over here I could talk to. They're playing their Switch. What you got to say? I'm trading Pokemon with a girl next to me. I had two Pikachu, so I figured I might as well trade one. Yeah, usually there are people like this that you can trade with. That way uh, you can like get Pokemon that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get. But, uh, I mean, I know that you're able to trade pe with people online on this game too, so I just haven't even tried that yet. The Pewter City Specialty. Pewter Crunchies. They're $500. You're limited to one package per day, though. I don't even have enough money. That's too bad. Next time... Okay, so, let's, uh, I guess we'll he heal our Pokemon first. Alright. And then, oh no, actually, I should have went and switched out my, uh, yeah. I didn't even think about that, but I'm gonna go switch out my, where do we go to switch? Where are the PCs at? Is this a PC? No, that's just a Chansey. Sorry, I was talking about the big Pokeball. Uh, what? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone? Scram. Wait, oh, huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. So, Team Rocket is at Mount Moon. Hmm. There's no one in here... Like, this is what I'm talking about. I'm having a really hard time walking, because I'm not used to doing it with my right finger. Alright, uh, the Peter City Gym Leader Brock is a Rock-type po rock Pokemon user. Rock-type... God, I'm having such a hard time reading. Rock-type Pokemon are weak to grass and water moves. If you don't pay attention to the type matchups, you can defeat... You can't defeat the gym leader. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, enough with reading. Let's go outside. Uh, I want to figure out where I... Oh, wait. Is it literally in my bag? No way. Catching Pokemon. No. Pokemon box. Literally the first thing. Oh my god. You can switch them out on the fly. This needs to be a thing in other, like, the real Pokemon games. For no joke, that is such a cool thing. Okay. Let's add to the party, and we're gonna remove Weedle. Sorry, Weedle, but this cocoon is gonna be a big bee drill one day. And I feel like I should do another Pikachu, maybe? But, no, it's fine. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna just go ahead and, um, I guess maybe go see if there's any new items at the Pokemart first, and then I'll end the game. And next time, we'll spend a little more time exploring the town, and then hopefully go defeat Brock. I mean, I might have to level up some more, but I think I should be pretty good. Alright, so, what is there to buy? Pokeball, 
it is literally all the same stuff so there's nothing new here and uh, no like great balls or anything like that yet that'll probably be after we beat Brock uh, so yeah guys I guess that will be it for this time I uh, really hope you all are enjoying this let's play I personally am really enjoying it um, sorry if there's a couple parts where the video jumps or something I do have a little bit of trouble with my capture card, so uh, yeah, that'll be it guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, I am now trying to release videos every single day of the week, if not like most days of the week, <laughs> obviously. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, if you want to get notifications every time I upload, just hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and have a great life.